so now we have selected next and we are in the section where you start to enter more of your information. So what we're going to start with is scrolling down and entering in your education information. So you'll select what the last grade that you completed were, if you had a high school diploma, GED, or none of them, what degree you may or may not have, and your school status. If you notice, are you attending school full-time disappeared as soon as I entered not attending school. Make sure that you read through every single item so that you're answering them correctly and then select next. And that's loading up to the next page. As you can see, we've completed the education portion. Here, we're serving into veteran services. If you are a spouse of a veteran, you're going to be answering all these questions. I'm going to select no for all these, but make sure that you read carefully through each and every question to see what you may or may not apply to. And then you're going to select next. And here we're going to begin to enter your employment background information. So your current employment status. In this case, I'm going to select unemployed. And then last date of employment. Let's go with March 10th. Was it due to layoff and military separation? No. Or any Hurricane Harvey? No. Desired job? In this case, I'm going to put in software engineer or software developer. No, let's go software engineer. And then it has a suggested occupation. So because software engineer is not one of their direct suggestions, you're going to go with what's the closest. In this case, software developer applications is pretty close to the software engineer, and that'll work. And there's your occupation title right there and the code that goes with it. That'll be entered into the system for you. And then you'll select Next, let that save. If you are a farm worker or have a family member that is a farm worker, we like to check onto that as well. So there are benefits. I'm going to select no. And then next. Your demographic information. I already have a date of birth in there. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, you have a disability. And then let's say for your race, you can select do not wish to answer or whatever race that it is that you associate with. And then we will say next. Any additional background information, something that may impact your obtaining or retaining employment. Uh, these are very important so that we can assist you in workforce solutions with overcoming any of these boundaries or barriers. We offer many services and education to be able to overcome these barriers. So it's so important that you are completely honest with us because we're there to help you. And if you've ever been convicted, again, be as honest as possible because we are, we're not here to discourage you from employment. We're here to help you find employment. And the number one way to make it harder is by not being honest on your forms. Your support information, if you've received any sort of financial support, I would suggest 
making sure that these are all correct. And that way we can either continue or add on support services that you may need. And then select finish. And here you finished your application. Now let's move on to building your resume. Here you'll enter your resume title. Here, if you're unsure what to title your resume, here's resume best practices. It's really important to read through these, making sure that you have a strong resume title, appropriate resume length, correct spelling. As you go through these, make sure that each of these are checked off for yourself when you look at your resume. It's so important to always have a clean, good resume because it is a number one disqualifier for employment. If there's even a typo, many employers will not even look at your resume, no matter how qualified you are. So in this case, I'm going to do the comprehensive resume, show you guys how that's done, rather than just uploading one. If you do want to upload one though, that is available and it will allow you to do so. In this case, we're going to go with comprehensive and select next. says this contains your last name and they recommend that you rename it. Okay. 